Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I just got a new watch in the mail and I figured I'd give you guys a quick review and measure it out for you and uh, compare it to another watch that I have. And uh, let's start. The infamous green box. It's not what you think it is. See that? Yep, it's a ball. Let's get this out of the way. Warranty card. It's the black Marv light. Okay. is the watch. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's black dial. Still stickered up. This is a little tricky with the gloves on. There we go. All right, looks like we got everything off. Butterfly clasp, the ball insignia. Screw down crown. A little pressure here, spring loaded, screw it back down. Has a nice shine to it, it's a very nice shine. Center links are polished, sides are polished. Sapphire crystal, anti magnetic properties. It's really solid for the price, it's very, very solid. It's waterproof up to 100 meters. Got the RR on the crown. Here 
All right. Let's measure it out. So it looks like we got 40 on the diameter. Eleven point three, yeah, eleven point two five on the thickness. I'm gonna call that a twenty for the bracelet. And down here, looks like an eighteen to me. Yep, so eighteen where the butterfly clasp is. And 19 and a half, let's call it 20, where it meets the watch. So, let's compare it to the sub C. It's the 40 ml, 40 millimeter Submariner. Eighteen for the bend where it meets the watch. Here it's fifteen point five. We'll call it sixteen. Thickness saying that eleven. So the Submariner is actually a lot thinner than the ball. Yep, it's a lot thinner. Thinner profile. Both look great. I really like the quality on the bracelet for that ball watch. It's very nice, very nice. And this price point, I don't know if you can get anything better. it on it's nice very solid watch for less than a quarter of the price of a Rolex it's nice I love how they put that word there. I love it. All right. Let's see what else we got. So, for the next video, we will be doing the review for another ball watch. Also got in the mail. And this is an all stickered up blue dial. But this one we'll keep in the box for now, till next time, because I don't want to make this video too long. So, uh, yeah. If you guys have this watch, the Marvelite, please let me know what you think of it in the comments. I think it was a good buy. I think it was. I think it's 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 a great quality. It's a great quality watch. Price that's solid, it's shiny. It's the Marvelite two. The new one just came out. The Marvelite three with the 904L steel, just like the Rolex. This has the regular steel on it. I still think it's great. I don't know which one I should keep on. Should I keep on this or 
go back to the Submariner. Submariner is a ultimate classic, beautiful piece. It's brushed where it's supposed to be, and it's shiny where it's supposed to be. It's nice, it's very nice, well put together watch. The only thing I don't like about the ball that I just noticed is there is no micro adjustments on this bracelet, unfortunately. It is what it is. You can adjust it each at a time, but no micro adjustments here. Play with it a little bit maybe wear it tomorrow see how it fits after I sweat or if my arm expands I really love the second the second hand on the dial all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments if you need me to improve on anything